Are you looking at Prince Edward Island real estate and looking for buyer's representation? In other words, you're looking for someone to represent you, typically a agent or a broker, to negotiate your deal for a property. Here's the challenge. When, a, when an agent or a broker lists a property, that agent or a broker has the vendors or the owners of that property sign a form or a brochure that basically says they represent those owners. Therefore, when you call, email, or text the listing agent looking for information, or potentially trying to negotiate with that agent over the phone or those other medians, then that listing agent is actually representing the seller. So anything you say can and probably will be held against you. The solution for this is to hire a buyer's agent. That being an agent that solely represents your interests 100%. Now you would think this is a common sense thing to do, however it's not. In fact, there's been such a conflict of interest in certain situations right across North America and Canada and the U.S., some states and provinces have made dual representation illegal. In other words, the listing agent can't double end that property. Double ending means they get the selling commission as well as the buyer's end of the commission. They've double ended that property. My word of advice to everyone is if you're looking at a property and it's something that has to be negotiated, it's not a super, super simple deal, then get buyer's representation. My suggestion is to find somebody that has a background or a certification in negotiating. The MCNE uh, credential is something you might want to look for that's Master Certified Negotiating Expert. This is a accreditation that's known all across North America and it's something I look for when I refer people out of province. It makes sure that person's actually been trained on negotiating. Obviously, if you have an agent that has decades of experience and they've done hundreds, if not thousands of transactions, that's going to be super, super helpful rather than getting someone that's totally inexperienced or doing this on a part-time basis. The other advantage of using an agent that has experience and has been around for a few years is they're going to know who they're negotiating with and what that listing agent is going to do to negotiate that end for their owners or vendors. It's good to know who you're negotiating with because negotiators typically use the same playbook most of the time. So know the members is an important thing when you're operating as a buyer's agent. Thank you very much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about this topic, PEI real estate or PEI in general, put it in the comments below.